April, 1973. Tragedy and despair have struck Central Texas. A young college student named Maria Flores has seemingly vanished without a trace. She was last seen near the town of Newt more than two weeks ago, but with no physical evidence, the investigation has stalled. With few leads and even less hope, Maria's younger sister, Ana Flores, and a group of her closest friends set out to find their missing loved one. But any grief or sadness caused by Maria's disappearance would pale in comparison to the agony and despair they would soon discover. What awaited this group of youths was a nightmare beyond belief. The events surrounding Maria's disappearance would be just one of the many bizarre crimes later known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. part of the family now. It's up to you to secure the property and stop victims from escaping. The family's way of life depends on it. Keep all doors locked and make sure all exits are closed, trapped, or guarded. Make sure to monitor crucial pieces of equipment like generators, the fuse box, and the water valve pump. The status of these items play a huge role in whether or not victims will have an easy path to escape. Make sure to collect blood from drainage buckets scattered around the map, or by attacking victims directly. Feed this newly acquired blood to Grandpa to make him stronger and more effective. The stronger he is, the more powerful his sonar ability will become. Pretty soon he'll be finding and highlighting victims for the whole family to see. Feed Grandpa enough, and he'll give the family new abilities that can be used for the rest of the match. Remember, Grandpa is the best killer that ever was. Hunt down the victims using abilities and teamwork. Look for signs of movement and listen for noise. Pay attention to your surroundings. Keep your eyes and ears open. You never know where one of those victims might be hiding. Speaking of abilities, each family member has a unique ability that can help hunt and track down victims. Careful, though. Some abilities have limited quantities, while others are on a cooldown. So hunt wisely. Once you locate or find a victim, make sure you have a plan. Try to set up ambushes and catch them off guard. The direct approach isn't always the best, so use your fellow family members when possible. But once your plan unfolds and you get them within range, hit them, then hit them again. And remember, if you do manage to successfully hit or execute a victim, take that blood to Grandpa. He's hungry, needs his strength in order to help you. Oh, don't let a single victim escape. After all, we win as a family, or we lose as a family. You've been captured by the Slaughter family. Tied up, tortured, and left for dead. You must do whatever it takes to escape the family's property at all costs. Find your friends, hunt for life-saving items like tools, bone scrap, and health. But more importantly, locate and open up escape routes before it's too late. The family is hunting, so move quietly and make the right decisions. Your life depends on it. Stay quiet and hidden. Move slowly and carefully to avoid making excessive noise. Use shadows and tall foliage to stay hidden. Take cover behind tall objects to break line of sight. And last but not least, use the environment to your advantage. Wall gaps, crawl spaces, and unique hiding spots like freezers, armoires, and even vehicle trunks can be used to evade the family. Use them. Watch out for objects that make noise. Moving too fast through the environment can spell disaster. Searching for items slowly will drastically increase your chance of survival. Even moving too fast through doors can give away your location. So stay calm and move quietly. 
The family is always listening. Find useful items. Tools can be used to break locks on doors. Health items can heal you, while bone scrap can be used to sneak attack or even confront the family directly. These items can mean the difference between life and death. You can only carry two items at a time, so choose wisely and try to plan ahead. Unlock exits. The heavy metal doors almost always lead out of the basement. Find and open them. Once upstairs, keep moving if possible. There are multiple escape routes located on the outer edges of the property, so find a way to open them. Some escape objectives, like the fuse box and water valve pump, require specific items to activate them. These items can be found scattered around the property. Be on the lookout. Escape the family. Having trouble finding an escape option? When in doubt, head towards the main road or rear gate. Those are usually the easiest option, if you can get there. The water valve gate and the basement door exits are also available options if you can find the necessary parts to activate them. The basement door requires you to find and repair the fuse box, while the water valve gate needs the pressure valve handle to open. Once fixed, the escapes will open up for you and your team. Use your abilities to stay alive. Used at the right time, they can mean the difference between life and death. Be careful, though. Star sign abilities have a cooldown that will prevent overuse, so plan wisely. Remember, you have been captured, beaten, and tortured, so your injuries are severe. You need to escape before you succumb to your wounds. As the match continues, you will start to bleed out more and more. Be wary of leaving blood trails behind. You can be tracked. Health items can slow this process, but you can't stop it. Escape is the only option. Finding fellow victims and working together is recommended, but not required. Grouping with teammates can have a multitude of advantages, but your total noise output might also increase. Choose your strategy wisely. The only question is, who will survive? And what will be left Total of them? attack on three female college students in Pflugerville, Texas last year is back in the public spotlight. Pflugerville citizens are in an uproar demanding answers from Texas state officials on why no arrests have been made in the case. Reports say an unidentified man entered the home in the middle of the night, viciously strangling one female to death before attempting to stab both roommates who were sleeping nearby. Authorities believe the attacker fled the scene after discovering multiple people lived in the house. The man is believed to be in his late 20s, has dark hair and brown eyes, and has several scars on his face and arms. Police are urging anyone with information to please come forward. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search to the nearby communities of Harlow and Chinatown will unearth the family and friends are urging anyone with information regarding her disappearance to please come forward. Jared Gaines wasn't sure what he was expecting. Some things just got to be done. Nobody escapes me.
couldn't have gone much further. What the heck is everybody doing? We should have found them by now.
Damn kids, where'd they go? Can't count on no one around here. Better get to it. I'm fixing to find the all that's for sure. 